are now tuned in to the sounds of Frank Friction, a.k.a. Booty Brown. My life is usually in the studio. I don't, I don't really go out to parties or anything when I'm back home. I just stay in the studio all the time. So I, I just feel comfortable there. So that's just it. I, I don't know if you want to say a hermit or, <laughs> or you know, like my man is saying, oh, you should be more sociable. And I'm like, yeah. And you know, my friends are right here. They're electronic. You know, they don't talk back to me. <laughs> they treat me nice if I treat them nice, you know. I think the first time I used the sampler was an MPC 60. We all stayed, you know, far side, we all stayed together in one place. And it was like a place called SCU, which was a production house. And they had uh, MPC 60s, they had uh, 1000s, they had a couple other keyboards. One of the main producers, Jay Swift, would, you know, he would lock the room. So, like, you couldn't really get into the room. What I would do is, like, the part on the top, I would just make a bed right there and I would just sleep in there in the, in the shelf. And then at night time, I would just come down and just start working on the drum machine. The way that this is, it's like you can sample a new sound straight from record into this. Having this right here, this part is like, oh my God, like it saves so much time because you could just throw this, you could just throw the sound in there. Jay Dilla, his whole thing was like, the shifting, like shifting the, the, the kick or the snare a little behind the beat or a little ahead of the beat. Most pattern sequences don't they don't shift. Like it's just like it's just grid locked. Like you're locked on the grid to what you to what you want to use. And then, then I was like, wow, you can really, you know, and then I found out like, oh wow, you can, you know, you have the random patterns and then it was like, well, you know, you have the offset and you have the velocity. And so like when you go into this little part right here. You have the shift and you have the repeats and you have that, like, when I found the shift, I was like, whoa, I was like, I was like, I was like that's it. Like, you know, like now I can shift that snare a little off. I can drag it and it just gives you a little bit more um, what they call a humanistic feel, I guess. It's not so, you know, one on top of each other. I like to use the guy samples, like what's in here and then incorporate my own, and, and just kind of layer to make a new sound. And that's why I say like, to me, like guys is more like, it's more like sound designing. Like you can kind of like design your own sound. Like, you know, I want the kick booming, but I want a little bit more punch. And then you can just keep adding kicks or you can just keep playing around with different sounds to, to what you can feel. Start, you know, you start, start basic, you know, I don't know, let's see. Just having to duplicate. Now it's four bars, you know, you can do it like that's that's all that's great to be able to do that. And then you can have like if you don't like a hi-hat to be able to just go and yeah, it's okay, you know, maybe I wanna just do something a little different. And just be able to just Like that's incredible. Like you know, like that. Like to to be able to like to have to do that like manually. Oh my God! Like it take you forever. It's like you you have to go through so much. Like I said, you can keep building until you just feel comfortable with it. What used to take me about two or three hours to just try to go there and do all the slices, now it's like, ah, I can go and you just, I can do it in five minutes, you know? Not, not saying that you're gonna make, like the beat is gonna be complete in five minutes, but the, the preparation that it would take you 
you cut the sample, cut the drum kick, you know, all that is just so much faster. So now for me, like knowing that it's just so fast, you know, I may make seven or eight tracks and you'd be able to listen to them like whatever's going on to just feel like, you know what, this is what I want to go with. I, I feel more, you know, this track, this direction, you know, everything's laid out real good right now. And then, you know, you still have the other tracks, but you just have the one and just, like I said, it's just the time consumption is just zapped. I love making music. Like, it, it, I can't even explain that. That's my day in and day out. That's, that's all I do. So to have somebody assist you on things that you love to do is just like, wow, like, it's an admiration that you can't say, you know, like, whoa, like somebody really takes time to really give me something that I need, you know, like, <laughs> I needed socks. They didn't give me a sweater or a tie, you know, they gave me socks, you know, that's great, you know, somebody finally gives me what I need, you know. Solar Project right now is going to be called Frank Friction. It's kind of like a three-part series that I'm doing, it's going to be like a mixtape, then I'm going to release an EP and then an album. So the title is like Bird Talk, which is kind of a throwback of the past. Basically, I, re I read something that said that the language of the angels was spoken like through birds, like, you know, and, and it's like a something, it, and it just hit me like a different thing. And it's just all basically about like, Music and song was kind of like the base, the, the first language. That's kind of like how it's, it's kind of uh, transcribed. So I, I thought it was just very interesting that somebody would have that. And so I'm trying to like put that concept into my whole album as far as like, this is a lang like a universal language. Like music is basically like the universal language that everybody can kind of sort of understand. And you know, it can be, it's not really threatening, you know, people, open themselves up to music, no matter different cultures, you know, everybody's pretty much open to it. I've never, I don't know too many people who don't like music. <laughs> <laughs>